Hi there, this is Wolf from WolfTech with a couple of quick videos on creating snow using the new WolfTech weather system. We've got a demo area set up here over on the uh, Dream Chaser sim that has an area set up with the Winter Planter, um, which is our favourite. Till did an amazing job with the trees on this and I absolutely love it. But it's missing snow. So pretty much as soon as we put this forest out there, we were thinking, you know, what, how can we add snow to this? So last couple of weeks have been about experimentation and research and coming up with this new weather system. So how do we use it? Well, it's pretty simple. The kit comes with four components. You have a controller. Um, there's a little utility gadget, which I'll show you in a second, that helps you set up. And two different cloud sizes. So I'll show you these clouds. I'm going to switch to sunrise because it gives us a clearer idea of where the landscape is. Okay. There's a 16 meter cloud. Let's pull that up out of the tree so it's nice and clear. And there's a 48 meter cloud. Okay. Now, ideally, you want to place these clouds 20 meters above the ground. So if your area is pretty flat or you're up on a platform, the larger one is the easiest thing to set up, especially over a large area. But because you want the snow to be pretty evenly sort of 20 metres above the ground, and I'll explain why in a second, using the large one on quite rough terrain like this, where we've got hills and sort of valleys and steeper bits, okay, you're going to find that the average 20 metres sort of goes a bit out of, out of line on this one. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up um, with just the smaller cloud. It, I mean it's 16 meters so it's still pretty big. So I'm just going to cover this sort of area, sort of half of that snow thing at the top here for the sake of this video. I found the easiest way to do this with these is actually to res three of them out in a kind of triangle. Okay, select them all and then shift copy them. So just hold shift down and drag and it creates a copy if you've never used that trick before okay and this creates a close fitting pattern of circles kind of hexagonal sort of honeycomb matrix thing don't worry about the ones that are sticking out over the edge because we'll clear those up in a minute it's easy enough to delete things okay so you can see that it doesn't really take that long to cover a fair area. And we're almost going the full width of the sim over on this thing. Uh, turn the clouds off is a, another tip, but I'm going to leave them on for this. Okay, I think that'll cover for our demonstration. So let's check. We've got a couple of stray ones that we don't need. So we'll take that one out. And I think there's one over there that we don't need. Okay, so that gives us a fair coverage of our area of snow over here. And you can see that it doesn't take really long to cover quite a large area. Now, there's a tool that's provided here, um, which is a cloud positioner. Now, this is a pretty simple gadget that I've put in to help with creating these clouds. It has a floating message about it to warn you. This Clicking this box will reset the height of all your clouds to 20 meters above the average land level. Now doing these by hand, down to 20 metres, would be a pain in the neck. It would take way longer than actually putting them out. So if we just click this box, there we go. OK, and that has moved everything down to... It takes an average of 25 points underneath the centre of the cloud. It will do it on the big ones as well, but I, would, I wouldn't be inclined to use those if, you, if you're going to be doing something bumpy enough that you need to be... Um, sort of moving around at different levels then use the small ones anyway but it will work with the large ones if you're covering a whole sim for example okay so some of them you might want to tweak that one's trying to find the path underneath so that's 20 meters above there you might want to raise it up just a little bit um, that one's fine and sort of come around occasionally you'll get one that will drop because it's on the side of a cliff or something so it finds the land point underneath it. Um, I haven't put any over here because this is actually um, made of prims, it's artificial land because there's a, a tunnel underneath it. 
um, whereas they will sense the position, it will actually sense the ground level, so it will ignore any um, artificial land that you've got and you'll drop it right down inside it, so it's not ideal for that. The warning over the top is just to let you know that once you've done that once and you make any adjustments, if you run it again it will adjust all of them, including the ones you've already got in place, so be careful how you use that. But it's a little utility there to save you some time. Okay, and that's it. That is our cloud system set up. Once we're running, those clouds won't be visible anymore. They're just for us to set up. That's why they don't look very cloud-like. So the next video will show you how the system works and how to use it, which is equally simple. Thanks a lot for listening. Bye-bye.